Welcome. I'm Kinetic Symphony. I hunt down and report on weird and mysterious true stories, from glitches to the paranormal. Case file number 27, written by user King Pantaloons. They witnessed the duplication of their car on the side of the road, then it vanished moments after seeing it. If you look in my post history, there's a post from R, well that sucks, where I showed the photo of my flat tire after I hit a really bad pothole. The tire iron in my car didn't even fit the jack well, and it didn't fit the lug nuts on the tire at all. So we called my roommates, now referred to as B, Dad. We had a hiccup with one of the nuts needing a key rather than the tools we were using, but it was all sorted out. Spare tire on, drive home, problem solved right? We had to go 10 miles to get home, almost exactly 3 fourths of the way through. B is in the middle of talking when she stops in the middle of her sentence. In the same moment she stops, I start to blurt out, holy crap that's my car. There on the side of the road, as we're driving past, is my own car. And I don't mean a car that just looked like mine. Any car owner I'm sure would agree with me that you can just look at a hundred cars with the exact same make and model as yours, and you'll just know which one is yours. That was my car, parked on the side of the road. B saw it too, and we both mentioned having the thought of, why are we over there? We're supposed to be here. We get home, safe and sound. No more strangeness. Until my wife mentions to me that she had been watching for more potholes, looking directly where that parked version of my car should have been, that we saw, but she didn't see it. She didn't see any car at all, just the side of the road. As she mentions that, I realize that I saw the lights from the car when we were behind it, but they were gone when I checked in the rear view mirror. B and I then in separate conversations, where the other wasn't involved. Both spoke the same phrase, I think something really bad was supposed to happen, but we narrowly avoided it. I think we might be lucky to have made it home safe. Case Notes, file number 27. These types of glitches, where you see something that shouldn't be possible, they're potently dangerous. They can make someone feel like they're going crazy, that the essence of reality isn't properly ordered or rational. This is why I'm so happy for you that your roommate was also there to witness this. One question, did you witness yourselves too, inside or outside of the vehicle, or just the car itself which you're certain was your own? The more eerie aspect is that the duplicate car vanished by the time you checked your rearview mirror. This then is likely to have been a glimpse through the membrane separating us from other concurrently running realities, or in a nutshell, you just saw yourselves as you were in a different reality. I just don't understand why this happens though. There's a few other glitches I've read. There was one person that saw an apartment he was checking in a configuration that it wasn't supposed to be in. So he was peering through, but then it stopped moments later, just like you when you saw the car and then it wasn't there anymore. I don't know why people are able to do this, what the catalyst is, and why it usually lasts for such a short amount of time. Maybe I wonder if it has to do with the other version of yourselves in that reality. You speak of feeling watched or observed now, since this happened. Maybe by yourself. It's creepy indeed. The author responded to my question with, We did not see ourselves, no, just the car. Even my roommate recognized it as my car, not just another one of the same make and model. Luckily, the feeling of being watched went away after about two days, nothing since then. Back to my notes, I don't have much more to say on this, all I can say is, I'm glad you're safe and I'm glad the feeling of being watched went away. Case file number 28, written by user Lily Magill, reports of inaccurate data tracking, even her own son witnessing her car when she wasn't home, but moments later it was gone shifting between realities. I called my son and said I would be home in 20 minutes. I decided to stop at the gas station and liquor store, which took about 10 minutes in total. I got a call from him on my way home, asking me where I went. I told him I was still 10 minutes away. 
Usually when I get home, I sit in my car for a few minutes to respond to messages, taking a few minutes of relaxation before entering the house. He said he looked out his window and my car was parked out front in its usual spot and he saw me sitting inside of it. He always comes out to greet me, so he opened the door and then the car was gone. He looked both ways down the road to see where I went. We live on a mountain in a neighborhood that doesn't have an outlet. So for the most part, there aren't many random cars, especially parked in front of my house. What's weird is if I wouldn't have decided that last minute stop, I would have been home about the same time he saw that. I have a feeling we may have just witnessed my first, that I know of, doppelganger experience. Update. So things got weirder. I was at a friend's house that I'm extremely connected to spiritually. To the point of texting her whenever she pops into my head, because I've discovered that means she's thinking of me. She'd respond with, get out of my head. I was showing her the Facebook location history that is eerily accurate with when you're on the move and when you've stopped. I scrolled through a few days worth of data and pulled up the day I had the glitch. I noticed it showed I stopped outside of the Nantahala. I was only in Chattanooga that day. It doesn't show me driving there, just a stop, too far away from my house to accidentally connect to a different tower. My friend has asked me if I wanted to ride with her to drop a friend off in NC, but I decided not to. When I showed her this, she got really quiet. She had stopped at a gas station outside of the Nantahala and, for some reason, bought me a pack of gummy snacks that she knew I liked. She'd become scared while driving through and stopped for a minute. She said she had no idea why she bought those for me. It was like I was with her. I think I might have been. When the glitch happened with my son, it was around the same time she had her experience. I think I was with her in another dimension as well. As well as another one, where my son saw me come home before I actually did, and somehow, the glitch was picked up. We've racked our brains trying to think of any other explanation. Case Notes, file number 28. What makes this story so weird is that your physical location was mapped and tracked by Facebook, yet somehow it showed you in an area that you know you simply weren't in. And not even that you were just there, you didn't have any tracking history showing that you drove there. So it's as if the other version of yourself pinged in Facebook servers, tracking data, satellites, I don't, do they even have satellites? I guess they do but only for a split second or maybe a few minutes, I don't know how long it lasted. I think what we often believe to be as spirituality is in fact a mental but subconscious connection to versions of ourselves operating in other realities and they're nearly infinite. We glean from them insights into possible happenings and perhaps even emotional states of those we care for because so many of these universes are effectively identical to our own. It's like gaining cheat codes in old school games. You're gaining information that you're not supposed to be able to have. How your own device history shows you in a different place though is really what's getting me. It's like you're shifting back and forth multiple times through different universes, where even the tracking data can't make heads or tails of what's going on. At least tracking data you can see because you're still stuck in one reality when you're observing it. You're seeing data from that copy of the copy of yourself, if that makes any sense. How do you feel internally? People often report an unsettled feeling when switching realities, even feelings of being observed as the last case I just reported on shows. The author responded with, internally I feel very connected and confused. I didn't add that a few days after I posted this, I was talking to a friend I hadn't talked to in a few weeks. I was about to tell him about this incident when he interrupted me to tell me about something strange had happened. He said he had felt me overwhelmingly out of nowhere and went to the bathroom. When he looked in the mirror, he saw my face instead of his for more than a second. I asked what day. It was the same day all of this happened. I told him about it and he confirmed that I definitely traveled there as well. I'm confused because I don't know how I'm able to do this. It's smacking me in the face that that has to be what it is, but how am I unaware? The night before last, I was tripping with some girlfriends. One of them called me outside and I could tell she was on her spiritual trip and I listened to her. 
When then had this weird moment where I felt and heard everything she was feeling and thinking. She had a realization about reality and without her voicing it, I said, I'm figuring out that this is all a big loop. She got freaked out and stopped me, ended up calling her boyfriend to get her after a bit longer. We talked the next day and she wanted to know what the hell happened. She said it wasn't me that was talking to her, it was like something else was channeling through me. I didn't even get a chance to speak much the night before, but she said it felt like I knew the secrets to the universe that I should know and it terrified her. The previous night involved little verbal communication during that time, and a whole lot of mental. I don't know, I'm accepting all of it, I just need to understand more. And that concludes our stories for the night. If you enjoyed them, consider leaving a like and also subscribing. I upload Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6pm EST with more case files just like these. I'll see you there.